Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel, welcome back to another video. I am going to be wearing more jackets and videos because if you didn't know, I live in England and it's starting to get gold. It's actually like, it's like a dressing gown, can't anywhere. It'd be what it be. If you watched last week's video, I gave myself the life that I deserve. So I gave myself the biggest booty, because I don't have one, the biggest boobies, because, I mean, they could, they, they, they deserve to be bigger. I also made my dream man, Billy. Billy, I do. I did plan to make my dream house as well, but the video had to get cut short because life is a thing that we all live. Why do my hands, look at, the, look at that wrist, my hands get to work out each video that I do. Anywho, I was planning to make a house, but I didn't have time. So this week, I'm going to make myself my dream house. But I have a lot of different versions of dream houses because I'd love to live in like a miniature house, like a tiny house, like the ones Aveline does. She does really good miniature builds. Why do I keep saying miniature? Why? It's like that YouTube trend where everyone made like mini McDonald's at Graveyard Girl. But also, I would love to live in Hagrid's Hut, straight up Hagrid's Hut. I'd love to buy a plot of land and build that, but that's not an option because I live in Middlesbrough where there's not a choice. And then I would also love to live in a London townhouse, but I don't have any friends in London. So all unrealistic. But the house that I live in right now, the one that I've moved into, which I've moved by the way, in case you didn't know, this is my dream house. Like I love this house. If I could have any house in the world, that's what I'm going to build today. I think the London townhouse is what I'm going to go for because I've recently went to London and I thought I was going to die in the tube station. Little story mode for you. Story mode, Minecraft. I've just had food, so I'm in a little bit of a wild mood. I went to London to go watch Harry Potter and the Cursed Child. So I went there. Uh, I was in the tube station got off the tube everything was grand it was a little bit smoky and my asthma was a little bit triggered i'm not gonna lie and i heard people about say like oh my god it sounds like jumanji because you could just hear a little in the in the background and i was like I was a little bit scared, I'm not gonna lie. So anyway, I went around the corner of the tube station and the smoke got more, the noises got more. There was this 40 year oldish man next to me in a business suit and I thought he looks responsible. So I grabbed his arm. I sound very calm. I was not calm at this point. Grabbed his arm and was like, is this normal? And he said, nah, where are you from? And I said, Middlesbrough. And he said, ah, you should be used to all this smoke then with the smog and I went, Oh, hi. Still a little bit nervous though. I went further towards the exit of the tube station because tube stations are an absolute trek, by the way, like the amount of avenues you've got to go down. And then we went a little bit further and I went up the escalators and I wasn't really behind him. So I went up the fast lane and I was like, thank you so much for your help. And he's like, see you later. And then I got to the top and all you heard was boom, 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 like actual big fat explosions. And I, I tell you, like no word of a lie, I thought I was going to die. I've never been in a situation where I thought that this is it. This is how I go. But I thought a terrorist attack was happening and I was going to die and that was it and I'd lost the 40 year old man and I was looking about for him because the, the true Gryffindor in me was like I can't leave this tube station without him I need to save him but I couldn't find him and then all you heard go over the tannoys was please leave the tube station this is an emergency so obviously I big fat crap myself went outside rang my mum straight away like <laughs> mum I'm scared and all the Londoners are just going about as if it's a normal day and I'm like in what world? We've just had explosions in the tube station. It was football supporters. Apparently there was some match there. And I looked and I saw red. They were wearing red football stuff. And I thought, ah, are they borough? They weren't borough. So when I realised they weren't borough, I was like, no, that's absolutely disgusting. So then I went into a pub, down a pint. I mean, I literally glug, 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 Because I had to go get on another train. And I was thinking in my head, I was like, I'm going to have to pull over a security guard and be like, hen, you need to let me know that no football fans are allowed in this train station before I get on that train. But my social anxiety I counteracted that one. So I just got on the train, fell asleep, went home. So that's my journey of London. And I think I'd be too scared to maybe live there after that experience where I thought I was gonna die. I thought I was in a terrorist attack and I'm not even being dramatic about that. My world was ending at that point. And I was like, I'm never gonna see my mom. I'm not gonna cry. So I think I'd be too scared. So because it's the life that I deserve, I'm gonna make a London townhouse, but in the Sims. And it's gonna be good because then there won't be any football fans and I won't think I'm getting bombed. It was a very long way to go about it, but I feel like that introduction was very, very, very necessary. Also if you're interested in seeing The Cursed Child, definitely go see the play because the book, take it or leave it, glorified fan fiction. The play, on the other hand, the first thing I'm going to do is find some kind of flaw that matches with that book. I think I'm going to struggle because The Sims team like to hide things from us. The Sims is basically of a glorified game of hide and seek and I'll tell you that one for free. Some stuff is hidden in show live objects. Some stuff is hidden in I don't even know. That's kind of similar, isn't it? I think that's going to be our best bet today, thanking you. Unless... I think that one. I'm going to start off and do the plan for one house and then copy and paste them houses next to each other because England houses aren't 
aren't attached usually unless you're proper posh so i'm gonna do the same thing again and again and again and i'm not going to reference anything london townhouses and the townhouses in middlesbrough town center are quite similar so i pretty much know the floor plan of my heart so i also want like a basement garden excuse me how do you do how do you do this then how is this done how do you do that Well, I'm very confused. Eh, how do I do that? Eh, how do I remove floor, Sims 4? No, basement. Ah! I knew I was good at the Sims. Questionable. Ah, that's quite canny, that, isn't it? E, we could even get like a little, little. Keep it calm, Jessica. We could do one of them. That's my plan for our little outside area because you don't get any room in London, do you? They always have these things on the bottom door where they've got like the little secret avenue places. I'm telling you, I've been to London like twice, like that, right? I'm telling you. And then they have some of these thingy my bobby my jiggy things here, like that, like that, right? And then they have one of them. What's that called? It's so rot, but feels so right. Oh, okay. Honestly, I thought we were getting a confession. If anyone from EA needs a counselling session, just hit me up, and Hit me up. I'll be there for you. Right, like that. Because then we can have a window down here, you see. This is my plan. Excuse the frick out of me. There, like that, you know. Dems the rules. Like that. But not that window. See, it's all going amazingly. I don't know whether to do one out here like this, right? Hear me out. Oh, you're going to have to frick off. Out like that. Or one like that. I suppose... We could do one like that and all. That's a possibility. That looks kind of nice. I'm liking that. Right, I think that's my dream house now. Time to boringly like, copy and paste everything. See us in a second. I think I want the house in the middle. And I think I also want some white bricks because I think the proper London ones have white bricks on there. Maybe a nice red brick roof as well because we're British. To try and fix the issue of not making it all look so starkly white, what I've decided to do was do a different colour door for each entrance. So this one's going to be mine because the colours of Griffin door are red and yellow so i thought the yellow one that can be mine we've also got a column in there no thank you sir not today i think that's going good now i think we just need to add some plants and stuff on the outside i don't know how i would reach them plants like but i would definitely have them and i think i'd have one of them on my front door that's welcoming in it if we got one in red oh i'm so welcoming this is going to be a sign on my door just next to it saying no tories please and thank you should i have a window in the loft i feel like i should i want a clock on mine i want everyone to look at my house to be able to tell the time i I want kids to walk by and the mums to be like, look, Johnny, told you, if you look at the McNamara house, you'll always be able to tell the time. Ah, Hey, that's really starting to come together, isn't it? The back is up for debate right now because that big obnoxious hill thing, children wall looking mother trucker right there won't let me show you. Right, now for the floor plan, which is my favourite part. I'm going to make downstairs into a kitchen. Why is that so freaking tall? Any need? What? truly bizarre to me this part i'm thinking is going to be my living room love a good living room deserve a good living room living room this bit is going to be my beautiful amazing fireplace might even have a bookshelf or something because i'm in london i'll be learning loads of one because i don't know london is always wear suits and they're always really busy like i've got so much stuff on so that's going to be my life because i'm going to want to go full london around i'm going to shot another staircase up here as if we've got an attic we don't have an attic but i'm going to do it as if we do not much space in these houses are there why are they like a couple of million pound let me show you this 10 bedroom terrace house middlesbrough 350,000 pounds 82 million pounds i'm in a state of shock this bit's looking quite empty but it looks a bit weird if you put anything here because you'd have to put a two square one maybe a cats and dogs window yes i like that and then it's not so dark and emo up there but this kitchen dining area it's just going to be posh i'm posh now we'll have a little outdoor seating area here even though you can of see out because you're in london i want some original hardwood floors because obviously if i'm in london i'm going to be rich and i can afford to have original hardwood floors i don't know what shade to go for i always hear people like in the moving vlogs so i was like hmm I don't know what shade of wood floor to go for and I'm like oh, it just pick a laminate but now that I'm actually in my dream house in London I totally get where they're coming from I might put a window there right just hear me out because it's an old house isn't it so I can imagine the original owner of this house was like oh we'll put a little window in there so in case you want to look at who's coming in you can I really want the whole bookshelf in living room fireplace kind of vibe you know I might have to go with these ones from realm of magic bath think that they could work yes see that could oh not not that big bigger fireplace i think like that have i just found a hack 
have I? Maybe if I put it one over there and then like one over there. I've just found a big fat hack. I found it. I've found it. I've been recording for an hour and I haven't really got very far, but I've just found a new hack. And also I'm having a telly in there hundred percent. I'm not having a mirror in no time for that. Oh my God, that's amazing. And then we can have little pictures hanging on here. <laughs> that's, that's nice. That is good. I want little pumpkins on the front because I celebrate Halloween like all year round. So when it gets to Halloween, I am always very excited. Oh, wow. And we couldn't even have a sticker. Oh, I would most definitely have a sticker, but where would I put the sticker? How would I have my dream living room and get rid of them tags now? See, so he's all dafter. Maybe one of them fashionable colours that are going round now. Yeah, I think I'd have that as a proper dark blue. Oh, oh, no, a green. And I think I would like a nice mid century sofa. But then again, you always think you want something and then you see it. And then sometimes it's just not what you want. When I'm looking at a set eight, I'm looking at a saying thinking, can I sprawl out on that? Or would I feel like the princess and the pea? So I think maybe this city put in them colours. I just wish I could get rid of the pink. It's not going to be an option for that, is there? No, because the Sims hates me. Actually, I think that one's going to go a lot better. And it's even got the dark green swatch. Sims team loves me. Maybe a bean bag. So when my niece and nephews come and stay, they're going to have somewhere to stay. <laughs> no. When my niece and nephews come, they're going to have somewhere to sit. They won't be staying on a bean bag. I want a sconce. So the Sims tells me, no. Is it a sconce? Sconce. I know these things. We'll have a, a sconce on either side like that. Oh, my home is looking lovely, isn't it? Downstairs to the kitchen now. My best friend Evie, she sent me a picture that she made of the, of, in The Sims the other day of a kitchen. It had a really good vibe and I hadn't really thought about doing it in that way. So I'm going to copy off her today. She had a big thing coming out and then it was, it was a big kitchen. And usually I'd stay away from big kitchens. But she'd done it really, really well. So I think I'm going to use the vampire counters in this swatch because i'm absolutely loving that swatch lately and then she had this bit coming out here with seats and then she had a separate dining table and i liked that i've always wanted a big american fridge a big american fridge where i can just get water out at any point that's what i want I don't like that fridge actually no, no that's my vibe that window's gonna have to go because it takes up just too much space we just don't have the space i think i'm having fun which sounds stupid but like i think i'm getting a little bit hyped and excited and i think i'm actually really enjoying myself see that's looking cute and then we can even have a sink <gasps> love it and then for seats no, it's just a seat in here we'll go there it'll match the kitchen where's the matching chairs for these i wish you could just select a set like you could in the sims 3 so i actually knew where to look because i've got I, i'm not gonna lie to you I've, I've, i get eyes strained from all the wasn't so hard actually our big picture wall but pretend they're all my family love my family i'd really miss them if i moved to london so i'd need to have a big picture wall there big plant i'm currently killing a plant right now that's in my living room so i'm working on that oh i might shut another bookcase down here i think it goes with the vibe very greenhouse isn't it maybe i'm slithering i'm not but like what if i was right my bedroom this is it i'm gonna copy the green from downstairs because i absolutely love how that looks my actual dream bedroom in the future would have the serious black tapestry on it so i'm just gonna pretend that that's it for now i don't know what better go for you know see the thing is that one looked like poo i think that'd go quite nice nice little dresser or something in the corner what one? Oh, realm of magic come through no it didn't come no wrong swat no right okay we can't do that one we'll do a seasons one actually i might get rid of that yeah wise choice and then on this side what i want I'll tell you what i want what i really really want tell me what you want what you really really want i wanna 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 really 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 want a new fireplace boom obviously telly on top i've got to have my telly don't have a computer but this is just my holiday home so i don't go on the computer here i just disconnect from the work that i do that's the boldest cover up for the fact that I've just forgot to add in a workspace, but we'll just go with that one here. Oh, and then I'll put them curtains to match. That'll be lovely there. Finally, the last thing that we've got to do is the back garden. These aren't going to be real plants that I'm putting in. Have to. Oh, are we playing in winter? Why is everything dead? Do we not have any evergreens? What a disgrace. Oh, we could even have some outdoor plants. E, you know what? We don't need evergreens. We don't need you. And I know that there's a watering hole somewhere. There we go. My little plant section. And then I think I'd like a bench. I think I would. I'm going to incorporate the red for Gryffindor here though. And then a barbecue where I can cook nothing on apart from sweet corn. Corn on the cob because I'm vegan. And then a dustbin that I have to drag up all the way up them stairs to get out. <laughs> once every two weeks but how lovely this is it in the night time this is it in the daytime well 8 52 a.m i think that's lovely that one hour and 18 minutes i'm gonna 
Like, I'm going to hate myself while I'm editing this. You'll be correct, Hen, because I was editing this last night for a couple of hours and then I had to wake up at 6 o'clock in the morning to finish off editing this and it still took me hours. So I think it might be time to maybe hire an editor for a video a week. So if anybody's got any recommendations, please hit me up on Twitter. Let me know, please, because this is no life that I'm living right now. But let's take a tour. Well, here's all my Halloween things. I left that at the front door, but you know, that can be the trick or treat thing. Entranceway, I've got my little Halloween decor station over here. I actually really like this living room. Usually I feel like I should clutter everything, but I haven't really cluttered it in here. And I feel like it's worked out because it is quite a small space. And I really like how good it looks not cluttered. And then outside we've got my little barbecue area, socializing area. That's a pretty bold statement for someone who hasn't left the house in weeks. I know that them windows don't fully match up to the height of the build, but I liked them high, so I wanted to keep them high because then at a normal level where you can't see the top bits, that bit looks normal. Then we have the kitchen area downstairs. Stairs. I really like it. That wallpaper, I don't think that that goes with the rest of the vibe. I like how I took the original Georgian house, maybe Georgian Victorian, I don't know, took it at the original things like the counters and made it a lot better. I'm speaking about this as if I'm on bloody location, 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 and it's not even a real house, but I forgot to add something to that corner, but that's fine. Bedroom as well, keeping up with the green theme. Oh, I love it. That's unbelievable. Like, not to toot my own horn, but I've completed the job description. I have made my perfect house for me and Billy. We're looking worse for right now we had to sell our clothes to afford london townhouse that's the story with that one so that's the end of this video i really hope you enjoyed it the house will be on the gallery as well for you to download my gallery name is just jesse mcnamara x it's in the description because it's quite hard to spell but thank you all very very much for watching please subscribe if you haven't already and over the next couple of weeks i have a lot of pre-recording to do so if you have any video ideas that you want to see please let me know and i'll see if i can do them so thank you all very very much for watching and i'll see you in the next one Bye 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 guys